Okay, we just came out of class where we went through all the important steps of a major league windup. As we talked about, we use the building block approach where we break it down in step-by-step -step, uh, little pieces. I'm here right now with Paul and with Brian, and they are two youth league students that are going to go through the different drills. The first step, if you remember from class, was the 45 degree transfer, and they're going to give that a shot right now. Guys, ready to go? 45 transfer. Boom. You notice what they have done. Their weight now is back on the back leg on both the youngsters. And what that does, it frees up the pivot foot at this time so it can simply pivot. Now the boys are going through the building blocks and we're going to go ahead. Notice how right now they haven't taken their gloves over their head at this point in time. And we like this method because it's just less movement. All right, Paul and Brian, let's go ahead and do our step two, which is pivot. Great. They have now started to make their pivot. They picked their foot up and they've laid it down. And now they're going to do the very important step that we talked about in class, which is lift and load. Go ahead, guys. Let's lift and load. Good job. They're following directions real well. And you notice right now they're staying real good on balance and staying solid. When a lot of the youngsters first start this, they have a lot of trouble with not being able to hold this position. And actually, literally, they could hold this for minutes. In review, remember our first step was the 45 degree transfer step, and all that did was get our weight back to our back leg, which enabled us to pivot. Our step two was the pivot, and then we went to an important phase where we gathered the energy, and that's what we call lift and load. So let's go ahead, guys, real quick in a review. Just 45 transfer for me. Nice job, gentlemen. Let's go ahead and pivot. Nice job. Let's lift and load. Great. Lift and load is a good job. We notice with Paul, he has his knee aligned with his back knee, and his front knee is over his waist at that point. He's in a very good energy gathering position. You notice that his point, his shoulder at this point is not pointing at the target. It has a little bit of load almost towards the opposite coaching box, and this is what it's done is cocked his hips. You notice also in his back knee, it doesn't have hardly any flexion at all, and this is what he's learned in class. The next step he's going to do is to increase the flexion in his back knee and glide. So, Paul, increase the flexion in your back knee and glide out. Okay, you notice he's done the real good power position that we showed you in the tape. His, uh, if he had a uh, camera in his glove, he's taking picture from behind. He has flexion in both elbows. He has uh, looseness in his arms, very similar to what Todd Worrell looked like earlier in our tape. The next movement he's going to take is going to be a real critical one where he's actually going to go ahead and start his backside. So Paul starts his backside right here, and now he's at a point, as we talked about in the tape, where we're going to have what we call a dynamic energy change. Now, if this was a real game right now, the mound would have a slope to it, and Paul's front foot would not have been on the ground yet. It would still be in the air. However, this, that would be impossible to simulate without putting someone uh, like up in a harness or something. But this is the way we get close to assimilate it as possible in a drill. But if this was a real game, remember at this point in time, his foot would not have landed. Now he's still closed up in relationship to uh, the plate. But at this point in time, this is when we're going to drive off the rubber and what we call a dynamic energy change. And that is starting the backside. Go ahead and start it. And Paul's done that real well. And now we're going to have an explosion point where Paul is going to go ahead and we're just going to yell, pull and boom, he's gone through. You notice that he's followed through real nice. He has the neck uh, bow where he's forcing himself back on the target. You notice that he pulled his uh, glove up into his body and he has rolled his hip uh, towards the plate. Just done a real, real good job. Okay, guys, set up one time again. Let's